So we are going to learn um, how to create a painting app on our Android Studio. Without wasting your time, let's start a new Android project here. We'll call it Paint. Okay, you can just leave the obvious. Remember your project location there. And go next and choose Empty Activity. The most important thing here is don't generate the layout file. Then click finish. Wait for the Gradle to build your project and then we'll continue. Alright, so Gradle has finished building the project and so we can start coding our project. Remember we didn't create a layout file, so now it's going it's time to create a layout file. We are going to go to our Java right here and create a Java class. I'll call it paint view then go OK. Now this one have to extend uh, the Java class of view Android Android dot view. Alright, so now when you do this, you will see that you have a little problem here, which will uh, you, have, you will create a constructor there. Boom, and there you go. You have your constructor there. So we're going to declare some variables here. We start with layout. And then I'll just declare this. Okay, and then we need uh, a path. This will be a private path. Okay. And, oh sorry. We're going to initialize it here. Very quick, like that. All right, and then we're going to create a, we call this a brush, which will be new paint. All right, so uh, f don't forget to hit Control, uh, Enter, or Option Return to import all those required classes. All right, we'll start with our brush. We did create our brush here. Now this one here is so the drawing will be smooth. You can also have other options as well. So we, we set a color. I like the color magenta. Okay, and um, we are going to set style. All right, it's gonna be paint style. Slowly, so we. Okay, we're going to stroke it. You can choose other option as well. All right, we want to stroke join right there. Okay, we want our join to be round as you have, as you have seen there are many options there okay we want to make a stroke width so we can put an if value there we will also initialize our parameters here layout parameters and these are those uh, that you have seen on your normal layout uh, height and width. So image parent height and um, wrap content for width. So for this part here we're all we're done now. Let's go and create methods. Method uh, the very first method will be the one which will register the movement of our for brush there. So I'll create this on touch motion event, okay, and um, I'll declare some points here. That these will be locations. Okay. The X and Y locations. All right. That means your finger when it touches the screen, it will be like you know registering those those. Uh, positions in X and Y. So this is not dot this the correlation there. So okay. Now we need to work on this. So first of all we need to get the action okay. 
make an action. Shift action. Eh? Now we need to make a decision case if it's motion event. It's action down. That means that means it's the when your finger touch the screen. So we're going to move to point X and point Y. Return to so if it's move, okay. We're going to take path. We're going to line to point X and point Y. Break. And then we have a default. Default. This one will be. All right. So now, when you're done with that, you're going to uh, post invalidate here for you to draw. And then you're going to return false. Okay. So this part here. So read this one is capital M of the E. Right here. Okay. Well, so this one here doesn't actually draw. It just register the positions okay from when you touch and your movement and so we we are going to to create a function which you a, a method which will draw actually so and you know its name is just on draw and we are going to say We are going to call our path draw path, and then we call to call our path and our brush. That's it for the view class. So we are going to go back to our main activity here. As you can see, we didn't uh, define the view. Um, normally, you see like a set context. There is no context here, so we are going to do that right now. Right here, we're going to to first of all to call our paint view class here I'll just call it uh, paint view it will be equal to new paint view standard standard things all right now we're going to, to set its content content view which will be paint view yeah so believe it or not, that's almost all that is supposed to. Now let's try to, to run it on my, oh, I already have my emulator here. Okay. Anyway, so let's go like that. I will just wait for the Gradle to finish building the project and start running on my emulator. So Gradle has finished building and have started the app there. Now let me try. Oh, well, well, well. Let's see that. All right, I'm trying to draw an alien. Oh, that's a smile. Okay, so as you can see, it's working pretty good. With no problem at all. We can try to continue to do something cool with it. I don't know. Yes, that's it. I get one, two, three, four, five. Oh yes, that's cool. Alright. Give him a very nice trouser. Okay. Alright, so that's it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.